Hello everyone. Right, today's story is The Three Bears. We do three by folding down our chunky thumb and folding down baby small. And that leaves us three. One, two, three. There we go. So, once upon a time, there were three bears. There was Daddy Bear. There was Mummy Bear. And then there was Baby Bear. And they lived together in a cottage in the woods, quite near to Grandma's house, actually. And every morning, Daddy Bear got up and made breakfast. And today, he'd made porridge. I like porridge. I like it made with lots of milk and lots of sugar. I don't like salty porridge. But there we are. Everybody likes their porridge different ways. And Daddy Bear got up and he made the porridge. But he made it too hot. It's too hot. So they decided to go out for their family walk whilst they were waiting for the porridge to cool. While they were out, somebody saw the house in the woods and wondered who lived there. And they went up to the house and they knocked at the door and they said, They were very naughty. They went inside. And they went inside and on the table were three bowls. There was a great big bowl and a great big spoon. There was a middle-sized bowl and a middle-sized spoon. And then there was a little bowl and a little spoon. And they all had porridge in. And Goldilocks, that was her name. Let me get my hair so you can see. Goldilocks. It's Goldilocks. Goldilocks quite liked porridge. She did. She really liked it. So she tasted the first one. It was too salty. Ooh. Ooh. So she tasted the next one. Oh, it's got too much sugar in it. Oh, don't like that at all. Didn't like that one at all. So she thought she'd try the little one. So she tried the little one. That was just right. Do you know what? She ate it all up. she got quite a full tummy and she thought she might like to have a little bit of a rest so she saw three chairs she saw a big chair a middle-sized chair and a teeny chair a little stool so she went and sat in the big chair but oh it was all hard it made her bottom hurt oh ouch not very nice at all and then she went and sat in the middle-sized chair and that was just too squishy. And she felt, oh, 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 no, don't like that. And then she went and sat on the stool. And that was quite nice. But all of a sudden, there was a... And the stool fell to pieces. I think Little Red Riding, um, Little Red Riding Hood, I think that Goldilocks was a bit too heavy for the a stool. These things happen on live TV, folks. Anyway, she decided to go upstairs. She went upstairs and there were three beds. There was a great big bed, a middle-sized bed, and a teeny bed. She jumped onto the big bed. Oh, oh, it was too hard. 
and the sheets were all scratchy. <laughs> like that at all. And then she tried the middle size bed and that was just too squidgy. And she didn't feel at all comfortable. She was all saggy and squished. I don't like that. So she tried the little bed and the little bed was just right. And because she'd got a full tummy and she'd been out for her walk, she started to feel rather sleepy. She went to sleep. It's at this point that the children should be shouting, Wake up, Judy. Oh, oh, and I gone to sleep. It's always happening, isn't it? Anyway, the three bears came back from their walk. And Daddy Bear looked at the porridge and said, Who's been eating my porridge? And Mummy Bear said, Who's been eating my porridge? And Baby Bear said, Somebody's been eating my porridge and they've eaten it all up. Oh, <laughs> I've got no porridge left. Daddy Bear said it didn't matter because he could make some more porridge. Then Daddy Bear looked at the chairs. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. But he's been sitting in my chair. And Baby Bear looked at his stool and said, Oh no, someone's been sitting in my stool and they've broken it. Oh, <laughs> got no porridge now, got no chair. Oh. Daddy Bear said it didn't matter because he thought that he could fix the chair. Just then, they heard a snoring sound. And they realised that somebody was upstairs. Daddy Bear quickly texted. Wonder who he's texting. And he decided then to go and investigate. So he crept up the stairs. Mummy Bear and Baby Bear followed. Daddy Bear looked at his bed and he said, Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And Mummy Bear said, Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And Baby Bear said, Someone's been sleeping in my bed and they're still there. At which point, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears and went, Oh! By then, the policeman had arrived downstairs and they came downstairs and they said, hello, 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 what's been going on here then? And the three bears explained that they'd been out and that Goldilocks had broken into their house, eaten the porridge, broken the stool and gone to sleep in their bed. The policeman told Goldilocks that that was a very, very silly and naughty thing to do. They plonked handcuffs on her and said they were going to take her down to the police station and she could explain herself to the judge tomorrow. And that's what happened. Meanwhile, Daddy Bear made some more porridge, mended Baby Bear's chair and Mummy Bear put some clean sheets on Baby Bear's bed so that he had a nice clean bed to sleep in. And they lived happily ever after. And as for Goldilocks, down at the police station, she found herself part of a larger investigation. We'll see what happens later. Okay.